Hi, welcome to Drupa 2016. My name's Scott Wagner. I'm responsible for worldwide training for our inkjet portfolio. I'm going to do an overview of the 2400, the Trivor 2400 today, and I want to start at this end. The first thing you see that's new as we look at this new system is the new controller from EFI, the EFI Fiery, that has all of the color management capabilities, multiple data stream support, and it's scalable to adapt to all of the different configurations available with the Trivor 2400. If we look at the input side on the unwinder here, we can run either slack web or tight web depending upon the speed you need to run the system and the weight of the stock. As the system will run from 40 to 230 gram stock, we've enhanced it to also run the new inks that we're running, the high fusion inks. So let's get more into the nuts and bolts of the system as we move over here to the new web cleaning system. So as the web enters the system, you see a newly designed web cleaner. This is pretty cool because it uses uh, sticky tape. So it's a, it's a new approach, it's very small, it's compact, and it can pick up a finer particle. And it kind of looks familiar to like, like a lint roller. But it's really efficient and it's really easy to service with an operator. And it's conveniently parked right between the new web guide and steering system that is more software controlled. It's really precise. It recognizes the size of the paper. It can either left edge register or center register. But increased reliability, stability, tracking, side one, side two registration, and color to color registration. Now, as we move across the web guide, we're now moving into the print heads that you're all familiar with. As you can see, it's currently in the parked position. The heads are in the up position, but it is the same piezo technology that we're used to in our Impica line. So we're running uh, four colors in two of these jetter blocks. We're printing one side, and then the web goes down inside the machine, and this is the new stuff. We have a new web transport, and there's a lot of things happening here that really enable the new improved expanded media capability in our new high fusion ink. The first thing you will see is easier access for easier webbing and a very, very reliable web path for the extended media. So the web is now imaged on side one. It is coming down now through the new dryers. These are higher speed, higher capacity dryers with both infrared and forced hot air. Again, to effectively dry the expanded media and speed and inks. After we go through the infrared and forced air dryers for side one, we come across the bottom of the machine and the web goes over an improved chilling system that you see here. These liquid core chilling systems again have improved chilling because we're running wider substrates with the new ink. We want to chill it faster and more effectively before we print side two but also mounted on top of the chiller is the new intelligent scan bar that you're all familiar with from the iGen and Cypress technology. This allows us to detect any missing jets and to compensate for them on the fly. It also has built in the capacity, uh, the ability with a spectrophotometer to manage the density optimization that was previously an external separate process. So it's now more automated, more effective, more efficient. So after we've dried and chilled side one, we repeat the process. The web comes up through the transport and entering side two imaging, but in this direction. This eliminates the need for a turn bar and any additional friction. So now we have image side two, again, uh, YMCK uh, sequence of inks. We go down to the second dryer, which is located here. And as we dry again with infrared and forced hot air, then we move along to the second set of chillers here. And again, another scan bar or density optimization for side two. And then we exit the machine into whatever finishing you need. Again, loose web or tight web. Here at the show, we're running roll to roll for some applications and then roll to cut sheet for other applications. And I'll finish up here with just a really nice new GUI. A bigger screen, easier to see, always easy to use and an upgraded user interface. So this is the quick overview I wanted to share with you today with its really exciting Trivor 2400. This machine is gonna hunt. This is exciting. Thanks, I'm Scott Wagner. Have a great year. Good luck and good selling.